This is our monarch caterpillar enclosure. I'm gonna show you up here is our very first chrysalis of the year. I don't know if it's male or a female yet. I'm not sure I'll be able to tell from this angle. can't really see. I may have to watch the video back to try to tell. Because um, I was looking through the top of the enclosure. This is the discarded skin of the caterpillar that pupated above. In. The right side of it is the face cap. The left side of it would be where the caterpillar's butt was. We have this fifth instar up on the side of the enclosure. And I did see caterpillar over here. This is a fifth instar also. And then I see this guy right here. And then I'm going to have to look around to find the other caterpillar. So I was looking around for the fifth, um, the last caterpillar, and um, I stopped when I found him right here because he is preparing to molt. You can see that teeny tiny black face cap right there sticking on the end of his big face. So he happens to be curled up in some leaves and I'm going to leave him there. You never want to disturb um, a caterpillar that's preparing to molt um, because they lay down a silk mat or a silk pad, so to speak, and they grab onto it with their feet and then um, they kind of dislodge the inside of their body and then they pull their feet out of their old feet skin. So the skin is still hanging on to the silk pad. Um, and then they just kind of climb out of their old skin, leaving the old skin still attached to the silk pad. And if you move a molting caterpillar, you risk um, kind of dislodging them from that silk pad and it increases the chances of them getting stuck in their skin or not being able to properly molt. So this guy is going to stay where he is, undisturbed. Um, this is a nice big fat fifth instar here. This is a fresh fifth instar, um, meaning that he probably just molted today at some point. So he's rather small compared to this big heavy guy here. These are both fifth instars. This one is just further along. And this guy up here is a fifth instar as well. So I'm gonna pause the video so I can put the paper towels, um, the clean paper towels with all of these caterpillars back in because I need two hands to do that.
So as I'm going to grab um, some fresh milkweed, I come upon a ladybug larva in the bag. Now, I don't really want this ladybug larva climbing around inside. So what I'm going to do is get it onto my hand and um, bring it outside to let it go because ladybugs are beneficial insects and they don't harm anybody. So I'm going to pause the video while I go let this guy outside. Okay, so I let the ladybug larva go and I've got some milkweed here that I picked today. I was just trying to get this piece of hair off of it. Alright, so I'm going to put this piece over by the caterpillar that um, is molting. This one I'm going to put over in this corner. I don't know if it's going to stay there. Maybe I need to move it around a little bit. There we go. I'm just double checking for bugs before putting them in there because I don't want to be putting any insects that are going to eat my caterpillars in the enclosure with them. So I'm putting that one right there. And I've got one last plant right here. And I'm just double checking for any insects that might harm the caterpillars. This is just bird poop. Just gonna wipe that off. Sometimes insects can hide in these um, flower buds. So I'm just looking in between the flower buds to make sure there aren't any spiders or anything in there. And I don't see anything, so I'm going to stick this one in like that. Alright, so that's it for these guys. And I put a lot of milkweed in here because we have um, three fifth instar caterpillars. Um, and fifth instars can eat quite a bit, so I wanted to make sure they had plenty of milkweed. Um, I am just gonna spray the milkweed. And that's it for the night for them.